welcome back to the Adams Family Mystery Mansion. We're going to be taking a look at May's first update of 2020. This is during the uh, pandemic of Thou Shall Not Be Named, as uh, you know, you can be said there. But, uh, you know, uh, there's not much as far as uh, teasers go because there's still no kind of infancy with this type of stuff. However, one thing of interest is I might as well give you what is the theme. Now, usually when it comes to May, that's usually an open book. Like, we don't know exactly the theming because there's no real holiday that kind of lands in May. However, the Adams seem to make a new one, which we'll see. Um, I think it is, anyways. It seems to be more spiritual. And, uh, well... Basically, the if you're curious, the title of it is that of the Family Night. It's a pun because, get it? Yeah, all that stuff. So this is the title screen in question. So it looks pretty cool. In fact, uh, I actually have a full place image without the logo. It actually looks real nice. You got to see the artwork and all that type of stuff there, and more or less so. And yeah, there's not really much to say as far as the stuff goes. However. We might as well show you the email that came with it, so you get a good idea what is to be expected during this update. So let's dive right in that. So here is the email, a nightly event for the kookiest family of all. The family night event. This is the email that came with it. Alright, meet Sir Mordred. Grandma released the soul of an old family knight, and it is up to the family to help their old relative get his final rest. On this update, you will get to decorate your mansion with exclusive nightly decorations. Also try a new weather feature. Ah uh, yes, so this is the update that introduces the weather mechanic, which I'll go into more depth when we get into the game, but I digress. So, here we go. Whoops, getting too far. I'm getting too, uh... <laughs> Alright, check the new content. One new season cookie box with nightly rewards. Nine new season outfits such as the Huntress Wednesday. Uh, Shim Shimera Kitty, I probably butchered that wrong, I know that, and Masquerade Queen Morticia. Actually, she looked, I guess I can get the Masquerade thing, but she kind of looks like a Plague Doctor, but you'll see. Ten new decorations such as the Cursed Painting, Helmet Collection, and Garden Knight. Eight new animations such as the Summoning Breathe Fire, which is actually right here as you can see, and Ghost Problems. Eight new items to collect and craft, such as an orange soul, cursed sword, and knight set. You must have it. You must have its new dragon look. Okay, I was about to wonder what what they were trying to do here, but okay, yeah, its. Okay. I thought it was spelt with i uh, i t t. I guess they changed it to make it more suitable. But uh, anyways, here the, they give you a preview of that, which is not really too interesting. And here's the picture of what the uh, thing looks like, if you're curious. Looks pretty interesting indeed, and all that type of stuff and more. And of course, to join the spooky community and Facebook, blah blah blah, we get the picture. So that's the email in question, so let's just dive right in. Yes, so that is what the email had for us, and here is the patch notes from my um, uh, Android app, and uh, get a good preview of that. The email pretty much covers everything, so there's not really much to share with you. But there you go. Um, the, if you're curious, the logo this time around for the in-app is this, which is Wednesday with her Huntress outfit. And, of course, the Adams Family how mansion in the back. It, that seems to be the standards moving nowadays. But, uh, yeah, I guess Wednesday sells the game for people. And there you go. One interesting thing before we begin is that there was this pop-up on my Android app, which was the Family Night event has begun. Make sure to check out the new quest skins and more, which has a scary ghost and some short swords. But uh, yeah, you really rarely get to see these pop-ups kind of advertise the events like they've done back uh, in the past. But yeah, you know, just kind of going back in the past type of deal. But uh, we're, we're not in the future, <laughs> we're in the past, we're in back in 2020 if anything of that nature. So yeah, we're going to dive right into the game and uh, see where we go from there. If you're curious, this game uh, play starts back on the 7th of May, back in 2020.
Right, so we come back to the game with a daily bonus, and it's been a while since we've kind of come back to the game, but the event has begun, Knight's Golden Pass. So this is what comes in it, we get a sneak peek of what the cookie block is going to look like, and the theming around this time is that of not only spirits, but also medieval in a sense. So it's quite interesting with the theming and everything like that, and as you notice in the background, there seems to be rain particle effects going on. This is the new gimmick with this update. They added a special rain weather effects. Now for certain phones that may not be able to run something like this, there is an option in the menu now that you can turn on and off that feature if you want. But yeah, now every so often you'll hear rain clouds or some snow, you know, things like that that make it a little bit more interesting and more unique. But yeah, let's see this. So we get a sneak peek that this is the platinum pack. So this is the medium pack of what you got here. So we got a few stuff here. We got the special pack, the big one, which has Morticia and Lurch and a coffin bed, as well as some cookie boxes, the night cookie box. And we get some of the previews here. Now then, we got a sneak peek of what all the um, apps is at the moment compared to what it was back in the day. And yeah, here we go. We got Calvo here. And yeah, it gives us that, which is something we don't need right now. I'm going to get that regardless later on, but thank you so much for your stay. Right, so in this uh, video, we're going to not only do a little bit of this new event update, but we're also going to continue on the main story. In fact, we're going to be up late, um, finishing off the, gar the gallery, which we did last time, and we're going to now go into the potion lab, or whatever you call that alchemy area, the potions area. You know what I'm talking about, right? I think you do. I'm going to find out. I find it funny that the um, levels, um, for some reason, uh, it seems to correlate with whatever I'm doing for the event. So the next level system is going to go outside and, and apparently... Uh, usually June is all about uh, camping, so I would not be surprised if the Adams had something like that. So yeah, anyways, finally, let's go ahead and take a look into the, uh, the pass. So this is what we get for the pass system, if you're curious. So here's all the stuff here. We got a gravestone, which seems to be dropping spirits, and this is our new uh, uh, normal raw item generator type of thing. Got some items here and there. I'm going to be quickly looking through here, and each of the um, events, or you know, the story quick line, we're going to go in depth with them, so we'll get to see a little bit more of that. But yeah, so we got this here. The actual stairs is actually for level 25 this time, which is interesting. Usually it's like the last prize, so it makes me wonder what is the final prize if we were to get the golden pass. I guess we're going to find out. So, oh, 46, we actually get some the new carpet, which is interesting. And this comes over to, ah, oh, we get uh, the knight outfit for Gomez. So, interesting. Not um, too uh, ex like ex crazy, but uh, yeah. I do like the background that kind of has this kind of festive. And yeah, the grand prize is uh, getting the costume for... Um, what looks to be um, Parker, and she actually is dancing with a ghost, which I think must be uh, Sir Mordred, if I'm going to be uh, guessing. Oh, yeah, the Beast Tamer. Okay, so this is uh, something interesting, too. Okay, so this one was not advertised. Weird. Okay, so there's more than one. Huh. That's very bizarre. I wonder why. Huh. I guess they were being... Uh, curious and it was night the desires that's the thing but let's step into the game grandma i found an old tombstone while pugsley and i were out shooting crossbows it had a name on it mm. sir mordred is that anyone you know sir mordred was a knight in the adams family long ago even before my time i hope his soul isn't trapped show me the tombstone so i can check all right, Sir Mordred's tomb. Place the knight's tomb, which is what it's called, and obtain the spirit, which is the normal craftable thing that we're going to be using. So, yeah, I guess this new area of the gallery is going to be used for the graveyard. And, uh, yeah, I know this the knight's tomb looks interesting and it actually fits, 
But um, we're going to get a bunch of those, so it's not going to be very unique. It's going to be very common, if anything. But uh, hey, you know what? Whatever, I guess he had many different copies. So yeah, so it's going to be a little while before we actually get some of the stuff here. So yeah, what what have you. It's going to be a while, but whatever. Right, so let's go ahead and just check something out real quick. Going into this new mansion. There we go. And uh, still last update, which is the Easter one, so that's unfortunate. And this was during the time when we still collected coins. Alright, well, anyways, let's now check the family and see their costumes. So Fester has this blacksmith-looking costume here. And, uh, yeah, so we've got that going on here. Let's see the carpet again. So it's this one. It looks like the Adams Family emblem. Interesting. Right! All right, and the uh, prize here. Ooh, okay. That looks a little bleak, but uh, I get what they were trying to do is haunting spirits. But, uh, yeah, anyways. Not sure why Fester is up in front, but whatever. So we got the Huntress Wednesday. We got Knight Gomez over here. Okay. That's interesting. All right. <laughs> I guess this was still in my infancy when I was trying to figure out what to do. It's not like how it is nowadays where it's just kind of like standardized um, keeping things up in touch. So revisiting stuff back in the time. It's interesting to kind of look back and how I played this game. But uh, yeah, so this is the um, Maca um, the Masquerade uh, Morticia that I was talking about that looks like that. We got this <laughs> Pugsley skin. We got Grandma, which is an actual kind of witch. What's interesting about her is that she actually comes with a unique costume this time around. In the uh, oh yeah, and this is the kitty one. Um, but what I mean by that is that in the dialogue, you'll actually see the costume be like stand out. So I think this is when they were kind of starting to do this for the family. And yeah, Kitty actually has an animation that unfortunately you need to get the uh, skin for. We have. Uh, uh, Lurch with his executioner outfit. Thing has his dragon outfit. Or sorry, it. My bad. Sorry, Thing. You're gonna come up next in a minute. Uh, Parker has the special ghost spirit one, which is interesting. And she's showing an animation that she comes exclusive with. That actually drops the special item, which is the basically Sir Mordred's spirit. I would assume that's what it is. And finally, let's look at Thing. Yeah, this thing comes with a little knight armor. Isn't that cute? He's a little adorable, like his little bunny one that I have right now. But yeah, alright. So we got some of this stuff here to kind of look at. And we get a sneak peek. Yeah, okay. So yeah, that's where we need to get. Alright. But we need this, by the way, to do one of his animations. So we should probably put that down and uh, have a go at it. So let's just try that now. Now, I'm not sure when the thing actually had his animations going, but I believe... Uh, let's just see this. I believe this was probably a new add-on here. This, uh... Where was it? Yeah, I guess I'm going to figure out. Actually, this was when they actually added all the items for Thing. So Thing started to actually have a member of the family with actually not unique skins, but he actually has... An actual animation so kitty is going to have the same thing eventually happen to him so we're going to look at some things quest so this is the next one him getting some metal which i believe is him going through toolbox up here yeah this one so let's take a quick look into this as soon as we get a nice preview yeah so let's start this animation again he goes into the box and he throws some of the metal stuff and that's it Right, so now we got the Knight Golden Pass, so this is going to help us with finishing this quest off. And uh, we'll go from there to see where we lead into this. Poor Sir Mordred is indeed trapped in his mortal plane. I must release him! Watch my incarnation, Wednesday. You should learn this spell. Your spell worked, Grandma. But what are all those other souls floating in the air? <laughs> Grandma, your spirit works too well. <laughs> you, you got more than one spirit coming in. Oh, gee, woo, God. Talk about an upgrade. 
Yeah, so we got a lot of stuff to collect and uh, a lot of stuff to, uh, like uh, bro, overwhelmed is an understatement. But yeah, so we got a costume as well now. So yeah, we get to look into that and we get to have Fester kind of do something. So that's cool. I don't think Fester needs an item in order to do this. I think it's just more or less just, uh, you know, you just need him. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. So there's a new thing here, the weather system. So you can turn it off and on. I'm going to turn it on because I have a very powerful <laughs> PC computer ge generator that runs with dedicated wham for that weather system going on there. And lemonade stand is pretty much fully upgraded. It's funny how the upgrade system kind of started for a little bit and then they're like, nah, this is stupid. We're not going to do this no more. Yeah. Imagine if they kept on doing it though, you know. And I think Cleopatra, yeah, so she still needs... Yeah, so I think this is when I finish upgrading her, because I think this is when she becomes fully... Yeah, she's a full adult now. Man, she's a big girl. <laughs> I can see. She's a very interesting plant. So yeah, we've unlocked Fester's costume, so that's great. So we're going to see his little animation that comes here, which is at the bottom, I believe. Yeah, right here. The And this was before they added backgrounds for this, so they're still new. So let's see this. It gives us the armor. And, uh, oh, this is going to be an interesting animation. So let's take a look into this. Okay, so he's going to put the helmet on. Yep. Oh, evil glow. Oh, no, he's getting possessed. Take it off. Pop. <laughs> All right. That's interesting. So it's a really interesting looking back into this and just kind of commentating over my past self here. Especially with, uh, it's like watching this new again. Mm -hmm after being it so long. That's why I'm kind of happy that I'm kind of doing these um, on the, like, of the day of, so that way it's not going to be like this anymore. Mm -hmm. Not to say that I don't mind doing stuff like this, as a kind of um, doing commentary on the fly. But, uh, yeah, so this is his other animation. This is going to be for the match. So he's going to light this up, and it died down, so he flicks it off. And we get a little look of the new box. And we got a costume skin for, uh, um, Gomez, I guess. So we can unlock him. Oh, and we ready to unlock that. So, ready points for us. Okay. Oh, sorry. I did not sleep well last night, as you could probably tell. Alright, so we're getting some ghosts and spooky stuff. And let's go ahead and collect the quest. My magic was too powerful, Wednesday. I released all of the souls in the graveyard. But we can put this to use as a lesson in magic. Pay attention. There are different types of souls. They come in all colors. So sort of like a rainbow made of dead spirits. I like that. Alright, soul magic. Get an orange soul, green soul, blue soul. Alright, so we got a fiery soul, a depressed soul, and an envious soul. That's my only guess. And it's not like a little, little element so that blue souls are like with water. Maybe, maybe it is. Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure, but I thought it, that would be funny if that was the case. But yeah, alright, so we're going to have Wednesday do some stuff and get, we're going to need to collect the souls, and that's going to require us to craft, and uh, we still need to put some of this tombstone stuff down, and uh, we still have a copy of that, which, uh, yeah, so let's put a lot of this stuff down, so here's another Sword Mordred um, tomb, and another one, and another one. <laughs> I know it doesn't say that it's a knight's tomb, but still, it might as well be Sir Mordred's. We got a haunted picture, which is the family, but basically with black eyes. You know, because, ooh, it's haunted. Don't worry, the quest is going to talk about this, so we're going to go into depth with how the quest kind of goes about with it. But yeah, we put this down here. Yeah, so that looks pretty interesting. Alright, so now we got this one, which is the helmet station. And I believe uh, somebody actually uses this station at some point for their animation. So, uh, you know what? We'll put it here with the Mazooka stuff because either that or, you know what? It would have been easier with the uh, armory room. Yeah. Where you make the weapons. But I digress. I guess this works too. Alright, so we need to get a lot of this stuff here. And we need to craft some stuff. Or not really craft, but quest desires all right cool we got some of the orange spirits so we're getting our half we're getting ourselves way there radio 
Alright, so we still have a lot to go here in order to collect everything. So there is going to be a whole lot more to deal with, unfortunately. But we'll get there eventually. Alright, we got two more things to go in order to get the Parker skin. But I'm going to probably hold off just for now, just so we can get some stuff going on here. But I believe this was a test. Yeah, I think this was somewhat of a test because this one's more expensive, but they wanted to give you an option to buy uh, Kitty, but also um, have it like Thing and Kitty, I believe, that you'll be able to buy them like through there. So, and it's cheaper. So you get to have two in one. So costumes and characters for cheap. So I guess it was like a little bit of a, a test, I guess they wanted to try out. And you know what? I'm all for it. I think uh, it's not that bad. Although, I guess they didn't last that long because they changed that whole press process. But uh, yeah, it was interesting as we are. So we're going to be opening up some boxes. And eventually we should probably... Uh, well, I mean, we're going to be finishing this off. So let's go ahead and submit this in. And uh, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting how we get to have that up and about. But, uh, yeah, alright, so we got that going on here, and now we need to do cookie boxes. So this was in the past where you had to unlock, uh, complete something in order to move on to the next thing. Which is, uh, which kind of sucked, but, uh, they have a better system now where you can get anything you want. So this is Thing's other quest, which is him just kind of flicking <laughs> buttons. Alright, so let's see his other one now. His other animation is going to be with the light bulb, which is interesting because if you go over here, yeah, so he goes up here, he does this, takes the light bulb up, and then he drops it. Bang. Alright, so let's see this real quick. Alright, so he goes up the thing, weird animation, so he it turned, like he basically puts the bulb off, right? He sets it aside, and then, eh, psh. Also, by the way, there's this weird moment with the glass. Like, pay attention to this. Okay, watch this. Look at the glass. Look at this. Look at this. What is this going on here? And then magically, out of nowhere, boom. <laughs> it was supposed to be hidden, but yet, for some reason, it was visual. So you got to see this little slowly crawling to its position. These different colored souls have various use Wednesday. For example, an orange soul has the power of fire in it. This is because the owner had a fierce spirit and didn't back down from any challenge. But what about souls that are pure black? I think those would be the interesting ones. Oh my god, so they are elementals based on their appearance. So yeah, that's, that is depression in a sense. Or green with envy. Also Wednesday, of course you have to go with the black ones, but you know what? I think black souls are a little bit dangerous because they I think they're like little black holes. <laughs> It sucks things in. A pure black energy. Very dark. Very spooky. Uh, shadow spirits. Very evil. Hmm. What are you doing with those glowing things, Wednesday? Grandma wants me to make a collection of these souls, but they're not cooperating. If you want to collect souls properly, you should stuff them in bottles. It not only keeps them secure, they look great in a display case for family gatherings. Stoles in a bottle, obtain Soul Collector, and get some cookie boxes open. And I wonder, Gomez, have you played The Legend of Zelda? Are you too a fan of Link stuffing fairies in bottles? <laughs> uh, I digress, but yeah, stuffing things in bottles, spirits as it were. I guess that's one way to trap a spirit. Although, I thought spirits can phase through stuff, but I guess not in bottles. Bottles are its limits. So yeah, let's open up some more boxes, and I believe after this one, we have gotten the achievement. Yep, so now, ooh, okay, so now it's just the collecting spirit soul stuff. Not the best one, I'm not a real fan of that one because it sucks. Uh, just because it takes a long time just to progression, and it's always resets every 12 hours. So yeah, it's not the best, makes me not really too happy about stuff like that, but uh... You know, shrug your shoulders, what can you do? Blow up some bombs while we're at it, mm -hmm. and we'll collect some of the things mm -hmm. that it was doing for us. Thank you, buddy. And uh, we'll have mm -hmm. you do that for us to collect some materials for 
the bottles that we need buttons for some reason. Oh yeah, and then there's this, her sorting out clothes. Alright, so we got that going on here. Yeah, so, that's interesting. I think I never showed that one before, but I might have. I don't know, I have to look back in my past. Uh, eventually I'm actually going to be going through it, so yeah, eventually, whether or not, it is interesting to kind of go through, I think I got through all of them. Yeah, I think I did. But, uh, yeah, alright. Uh, again, it sucks when you go back and trying mm -hmm. to figure things out. But, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's a new knowledge. Everybody learns something from the past. Alright, so the next one is going to be the actual plant. And this is going to collect toxic waste. Which is great. Oh yeah, by the way, I have to look at you. I have to watch you go to the plant in question because... Lord knows, you can't just go there. Like, nowadays, there's some animations that will immediately pop them into where they need to be, so they don't need to watch them walk. And that's only when they're stuck on something. The AI just goes, yeah, let's trans, let's teleport. Alright, so let's see this here. So this is what this animation is. So it goes into this. Grab some sticky goo. Throw it away. Nice. <laughs> so I guess it talked to toxic nectar. I guess, in a way, it's supposed to be like, and it just froze it on the floor. <laughs> or froze it on the plant, I should say. It's like green boogers or, you know, some weird toxic -y thing. Anyways. Now I think we have a ghastly gallery that anyone would appreciate. And anyone who doesn't like ghastly isn't worth inviting over. And that finishes the gallery quest that we did back then, and we now upgrade it to level 16. This opens up the potion lab that I was talking about before. I'm not sure if it's called the potion lab, but that's what I'm calling it. Gotta, gotta, it's gonna be talking about where it is. Yeah, the potions lab. Yeah, I was smart, I knew it. Alright, so let's unlock this, and we get the alchemy lab, but you need to buy rubies. This is the special item that, uh, or special room that kind of gives you more storage. It kind of sucks that there are some rooms that are exclusive off sword, but uh, yeah, what can you do? Anyways, the lab pack actually gives us some unique items. One is a pinball, gives us this uh, and the pot stuff, if that's your fancy. But yeah, weird that the lab actually gives us a pinball machine. I think you need to expand beyond explosives, Pugsley. But Grandma, blowing up stuff is what I do best. Detonation is an obvious way to do things. Potions are more subtle. And thus, perhaps even more dangerous. Now you're talking my language. Let's get started. A notion for potions. Unlock the potions lab. Alright. Man, all that all grandma need to do is talk about how dangerous something is, and Pugsy's on board. Of course he is. Also, I hate the fact that Fester's lab is basically like the thing is over top of it, so it just makes it look very weird and not good. Ah, <laughs> uh, the infancy of a game. Barely a year, and yet stuff still broke. Oh, man. So fun to kind of look at stuff like this in the past and just make a comment of it. So let's just sell some stuff and uh, actually get a progression level. That's good. That's going to help us with the name story one. And oh yeah, good. We need boxes now for the main one to get some of the star points. I'm not sure why they considered it to be star points, but okay. Yeah, star points for the atoms. Rightio. So, we got this stuff going on here. We need the souls in order to get the bottles going. I guess that makes sense. This three souls to get three of them in bottles. Where do the bottles come from? Who knows? Don't ask questions. It's weird that the fierce, fiery uh, soul needs flowers in order to craft. <laughs> Uh, it makes it makes the it, it spirits is rage when it goes through flowers, I guess. And I believe Thing actually has one more animation quest for us. Uh, but first, let's go for Parker. Ah, oh, great. She's doing an animation and she's blocked. Fantastic. I guess I have to do that later, maybe. All right, so let's go to Thing. There he is over there. So, I believe Thing actually has a unique animation that if you do get him, that he actually drops a scene item, which is the fork. And it's basically his animation that was introduced back in the Valentine's Day update with his, him, is this him dancing? 
which uh, hopefully I showcase at soon point. So, anyways, these are new items I got, uh, furniture that got added during this up uh, this level update, and these are the plants that got added to the level update. We're gonna look at the uh, hanging decorations now. Let's see. Let's go over here. These are the new ones. Yeah, very interesting. And now we got the uh, the floor stuff, which is right there. Just that rug. All right, cool. No premiums, which is good because I don't want to spend my rubies because I'm a hoarder. Ah, oh, so this one's done. Nice. So we got an extra room now. Can't wait to fill you with useless stuff, man. But that is going to be in the future. In the future later. Alright, now then. I think I'm going to hold off on this for now. I am tempted. But uh, we'll see where this goes later on. But, yeah, eventually I get all the packs. So, yeah, don't worry yourself about that. You know, I'll get everything eventually. It takes a while, but, you know, I will get them. Alright, so now we're going for a few days later in the 10th. So, now then, we are going to see if we can get this quest animation going. Alright, good. Yeah. Again, I guess I should all follow Parker's stuff anyway, so I'm not too bothered by it. But, uh, yeah. This is just an empty room, Grandma. It doesn't look dangerous at all. Don't be in such a hurry, Pugsley. Good things take time. Well, I wish they'd get done faster then. Pugsley, you immature, uh, uh, impatient child. Alright, let's do this. To proceed further in the arts of potions, we need to set up my potion station. Then can we do something dangerous? Like make a deadly poison? First, you need to learn to take care of yourself. You're always getting burned. A simple plan will help you recover. An art of potion making. Uncover that and make some cream. Good. Fantastic. I can't wait for that. Alright, that's fantastic. Alright, so now let's go open a box. That's nice. That's fantastic. And I believe we should be able to continue on with the main quest line. Oh, with the, once we sell some of the stuff here. Yes, we are. We got the bottles in question, so let's start that now. Boy, you were really good at stuffing those souls in bottles, Wednesday. I just did the same thing I do with my dark feelings, Pugsley. I shove them deep down. You're really scary sometimes, sis. What kind of feelings exactly? Your happy and sad feelings, or your feelings of rage? Either or, I'm very terrified like Pugsley. Ugh. Look at this fine painting I purchased. Isn't it horrifying? It is very macabre, yes. But it feels like it's missing something. Maybe it needs the intervention of a lost soul for the final touch. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, fetch me a soul. It's time for arts and crafts. Modern art. Place the cursed painting and get some spirits. And, uh, yeah, isn't that weird that you got Gomez and Morticia kind of hanging out together and then immediately Morticia's in her new costume? <laughs> it's like one scene they're, like, normal, and the next is like, BAM! New dress. <laughs> new costume. Alright, so speaking of Morticia's costume, we got a pack there. We got some more for Gomez. I might actually unlock Gomez's stuff without even getting the final part of the pass, so I think I end up doing that. Either that or something else. I guess we're going to find out together. Very fascinating indeed. Very, very... Good! Oh no! <laughs> well, I should have acted on the thing fast enough because now the beast pack is no more. Yes, it was only for a limited time. In fact, it might have been an accident. And uh, the, uh, the premium pack is there now. Actually, now that I think about it, I think the taming pack was supposed to be its own thing and it ended up going there and they're like, oh, we can't do that. <laughs> we gotta award you with something fast. No, no. <laughs> uh, I think that's what happened. Now I'm realizing it. I think that's exactly what happened. So, yeah. Ooh. Dar darn. <laughs> oh, man. That would have been great to kind of reverse that. Um, opportunity when it came, but uh, don't worry, I believe the Beast pack is going to come back eventually. 
I think this is one of those, oops, we, we screwed up, but it was benefit to us. But they're like, no, no, we can't have that. <laughs> we need to make money after all. We're a company first. Pleasure second. The entertainment part, you know, comes with, you know, rubbing my fingers together with the the, the Cygnus, this universal sign for money. Alright, well, Hephaestus keeps on doing this. That's going to be the only character who's going to be doing stuff right now. Which is unfortunate, but whatever. Alright, let's continue. By Jove! The painting looks much better now! It's the black, empty eyes that really make it come unalive. It's perfect. Don't forget to thank the spirits for their help. They're so handy around the house. That's right! I possessed it with my spirit! <laughs> Ah, oh, God, I failed it. I was trying to make it seem like Grandma just forced the spirit onto the painting. It's like, Darling, hearing all this business about knights has me feeling sivers. Does that mean you want to open doors for me or carry me over puddles? No, it means I want to dress up like a knight. All right, uh, Gallant Gomez. All right, we got to do shields and stuff and armor. But, uh, yeah, sorry for that interruption. What I meant to say was, like Luigi's Mansion, stuff uh, spirits into paintings so that everyone can be amused and be horrified by the haunted presence of stuff. Also, if you're wondering about the audio, yeah, that ended up going out, so I had to put in some stuff on the dub later on. Alright, so let's continue with things, uh, interesting quests. We got one here of Jumping Rope. Which is, sounds exactly what it is. It's it's a little adorable little animation with him just kind of doing this. <laughs> because of course it is. Because they want to be adorable now, aren't they? Alright, let's continue with the main story the quest. Aw, did little Pugsy Wudsy get a boo-boo that needs healing? You're going to need healing after I finish you, Wednesday. Children, don't waste your energy fighting with each other. Take that spirit and use it to attack your Uncle Fester. You'll enjoy it. It's too much older than I would. The room is still completely bare. We need to bring in lots of furniture. I don't think I can carry all this stuff by myself. Maybe Wednesday can help. I'd love to help, Pugs. But I'm busy with some essential task. Like, super, super busy. Missing work, like Wednesday swinging on a tree and Wednesday reading a book. Yes, very busy, I can see. Mm. <laughs> uh, I guess Wednesday is a child, so I wouldn't uh, expect anything other. I mean, she was complaining before back in the Easter ones, where she's like, well, Grandma, we're not like us. Like, we weren't like strong back in your day. We're, we're children. We suck. We just do this all day. <laughs> just hang on trees. That's not even, um, what's his name? God, I forgot his name now. The tree has a name, but that's not the tree's name. But that's the animation of her swinging on the tree. That's actually, the tree itself is actually in the uh, garden somewhere. I just can't remember where for the life of me. All right, well, we got some items. That's cool. Rightio. So, we're on level 15 still. And, uh, the, by the way, if you're curious, it's the 12th now. So, we're moving slowly with this progression, and I believe we should get uh, the finish to question. Gomez, now you truly are my knight in rusty armor. How gallant. I just wish the armor fit me more bit better. It's a little loose on me. Apparently, Sir Mordred spends most time in the gym than you do, Gomez. <laughs> talk about Gomez you look fine <laughs> I can't tell the difference all right so we got an item here for it's gonna be useful for one of the quests and we got some boxes as well so that's fantastic all right so thing has done his quest here so now we're gonna get some glass ah okay so he's gonna do his burning ants impressions all right so he's gonna do this and yep starting a fire what a great helping hand. But I'm sure the Adams don't care about something like that. Yeah. God, I know the tree's name, and I believe that's the tree right there in question. But, uh, 
Actually, that might not even be it. That might be another tree. God, these... Uh, man, I'm being... <laughs> it's like, oh, all these trees look the same to me. Yeah. Alright, let's just sell this off. Yeah, bullseye muscles. Yeah. Sell this car, please. I'll hold it for now. And how are my plants today? Hmm. I should clip these garish rose petals off. Since everyone is fixated on knights, I should bring that element to the garden. A green knight for the garden. Yes, that would work perfectly. Alright, green knight. Get the green spirits and get that stuff. Very interesting that they kind of have this thing going on now where it's like they're trying... Like, this is still in their um, experimental phase when it comes to events because this is like the fourth one they've at. No, is it the fourth one? Let's see. No, it's the sixth. Yeah, it's... No, it's the fifth one. Yeah, it's the fifth one. My bad. The fifth uh, event they've done. So they're still trying to kind of figure out how to do things. So they're kind of going back and forth with normal items and also putting items down. Now, nowadays, it's like very formulaic where it's like, ah, the next item you get, that's going to be the next quest. And then therefore and therefore and you go on and so forth. And if you're curious with the animation before with her reading a book, this is what it looks like real close. So now you got that. Let's open this box and uh, get a prize. <laughs> There we go. Now we need to sell stuff. That's the next thing. The road to success. Ah, yeah, I'll do that when I want, when I feel like it. <laughs> and Kitty wanted to go up the stairs, but then he's like, nah, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna instead just go back to the kitchen. And Fester is still gonna be dumb and keep on posting that possessed helmet on his head because, I don't know. He's like Gonzo. He just likes the pain. He's a masochist. Isn't a masochist the person, people that like pain? I don't know, it's, it's something similar to that. You know, people that like to put misery on themselves. Although, would that classify of all the atoms doing that? Because the atoms really love misery. Misery loves company, and the, and the misery is the atoms. I don't know. I'm just making words up now while we speak. So, we got that going on here. Radio, we got some boxes. Cool. Alright, now then. We got this, and, uh, yeah. Now I'm kind of regretting I should have gotten that pack when I did. But, uh, oh well. Probably wouldn't count. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now, thing, we're gonna do the dancing. Because that's the last thing he has going on here. And like I said, the dancing we've seen back in February when we've unlocked him the first time. But anyways... Mm -hmm. I feel a little guilty not helping Pug set up his potion room. But this book on assassination methods isn't going to read itself. I'll go help him later. Very useful. He's going to use it on his brother later. Her brother. Huh. Thanks for finally coming to help Wednesday. Hey, I've been helping you for a while now. What do you mean? You didn't lift a finger while I was carrying furniture. Yeah, but I didn't take advantage of you being such an easy crossbow target. Okay, point taken. Sorta of, kinda of helping. Place the rug and place some boar heads. <laughs> of course. It's like, no, I'm totally helping. How? Well, I'm not hurting you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, sibling love. Man. I can tell you from experience, like anybody who can say, um, when I, when I was younger with my brother, uh, we were like six years apart. We didn't get along when when he was young, because there was that six six year age gap. So there was no real connection. Like he would be still kind of mature, and while I was kind of getting mature, kind of deal. It wouldn't be until, like, here's the thing: when the sibling rivalry, it, like when you're young, it's not the best. You always kind of you know you get on each other's necks. But as soon as you become adults, or when you get mature, like when you go through puberty, I feel that's when you actually become to the point where you actually become a best friend with your your sibling that might just be me but i'm sure any sibling can s relate to that and go yeah i can totally see that like i hated my sister but now i love her Ugh. you take the top end while we carry this up the stairs okay boy this sure feels heavy are you sure you're pushing from your end of course <laughs> totally pushing with all my might that's weird because it feels like I'm lifting the whole thing. 
Wednesday, are you making your brother do all the work? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, he won't know. He has to look behind him, and that would result in him putting this thing down. By the way, um, there was no chair putting up there, so I guess they just put an imaginary chair, as far as I know, in the potion room. Uh, that might be coming up dialogue coming up now. Uh, now the All that work tired me out. I need something to make it feel like it was worth it. Mansion, I desire some cupcakes. And not just a few, either. A lot of them. Yes, ma'am. Let them eat cupcakes. Give, complete a quest. And lucky for me, I have them prepared. Here you go. Here, Pugsley. I saved you a cupcake. Aw, thanks. That was nice of you. Of course. I didn't say what's in the cupcake, but enjoy. Dang it. Now I can't eat this. Why, Pugsley? It might be poison. You might love that. <laughs> Man, her, his sister's cruel. Maybe there was nothing in there. Max, let's set up a potion table. It's great to see all of your ingredients clearly. Grandma, what was the best potion you ever made? The first one that you'll make will be my favorite. I'm more interested in what my grandkids can do than anything I've done. Want to carry Grandma? Set the tape, seat at the table, get the table, and get some chairs. That's nice. But uh, yeah, we're actually gonna complete the main quest line here coming up. Oh, actually, there's another quest. Let's see that. Potion Lab is coming along wonderfully, Mother. It's not me. Pugs and Wednesday have done all the work. Let's add some of my plants to make the room look even nicer. Alright, green design. Place some plants. Because, of course, Morticia wants to put plants all over the place. She's, she loves plants. What can I say? That one's per perspective. Well, let's see, go up. What are you children up to in this room? We're fixing up Grandma's potion lab with some decorations. It looks pretty good. But it can use some mystery. You should add some art and some good place to hide. I was gonna say Fester. <laughs> hide in here. Place this big uh, war. Um, this this thing. Wardrobe. Is it a wardrobe? I don't know. It's blurry vision. When this when we we watching this again, unfortunately. And um, yeah, then we need to place this. And, uh, you know what, maybe I feel like I need to record this, so that way you can see it. Be like, hey, can you see this, chat? No, you can't? Yeah, because of course not. Yeah, but, uh, I think that will be it for now. Because I think the next video is going to be us completing the quest line, the event, and all that said and more. And I think you get a good picture of exactly what this event had in store. But, I am going to be interested to see when we unlock everything and where it goes from there and as well as what's happening within the potion lab so uh until then i've been grim i'll be seeing you next time for whatever the adams family mystery mansion has in store so until then i hope you have a ghostly night <laughs>